Welcome. When you first install Calxer and run it, you'll get the choice between opening Calx Premier or Express. Premier is for complex budgets, including jobs and categories. Express is for small businesses and fast, easy cash flow. Click on the Create Organization link there and browse to your MYOB file. Select the MYOB file, click Open. Now click Create, and that will transfer all the data from your MYOB file into your Calxa file. So it will bring across all your accounts and all your historical data. Then our Calxa Express Quick Start Wizard starts, and this is going to help us set our first budget. First we can adjust our income, and we can adjust either percentage or the new year amount. And you'll see when you do that that the net profit at the bottom changes as well. So for most businesses, this year is going to be similar to last year. So using last year's figures makes sense. Adjust your cost of sales accounts. So this is the goods that you buy in order to sell. If you're a service business, then you probably don't have anything much there. Same for expenses. Now GST, select your payment period. The GST quarterly option there includes the February payment. Select cash or accrual. Select how you pay your PAYG. Monthly in this case. If you've got a PAYG instalment, just select the account that that gets allocated to and enter the percentage, if you're calculating it on a percentage basis. Enter the frequency for your superannuation payments. And that's the wizard finished. Now there's two more steps. There's a checklist which takes you through some additional questions just to make you think about how you might want to edit and fine tune your budget. And I'll show you some of the things you can do to fine tune it shortly. First, we'll have a look at the cash flow forecast chart. So this chart shows us what our bank balance is going to be month by month for the next 12 months. You can hover over any of those months to see the details of what's there. The bars on this chart show the components that are driving the cash flow. So what's happening with your expenses, liabilities, income, etc. Now if we go to the edit button on the toolbar there, we can now edit our budget. You'll see we've, the wizards created the 2011 and 2012 budget for us. We've got multiple budget versions in Calxer Express, so we're going to call this one our moderate budget. And later on we might create a best case scenario, worst case scenario, just by adding a new budget version in there. Editing your budget's fairly easy. You can just overtype any of the existing figures. You can also adjust the annual figure, the annual total, and that will adjust each month proportionally. Or you can use the budget shortcuts. In this case, we're going to set our cost of sales as a percentage of our income. So select defined account, and we'll go down and find our sales account. Make sure we've got the same financial year, and we're going to set 45% there and apply that. And that calculates that for us. We can insert comments so that later we can see how we made that calculation. With something like wages, there's a shortcut for a fixed amount per period. So if we pay our wages fortnightly, and our fortnightly wage bill is $5,000. Select the first payday of the financial year, apply that, and it'll work out how many 
pays there are each month. Let's go and have a look at some reports now. So you see we've got a range of reports here from the cash flow forecast, which we've just seen. There's a report version of that with numbers. So good for those of you with an accounting background or want to see a bit more detail. Where did our money go is a useful report um, for showing, uh, answering the question of if I made $100,000 profit, for example, last month, why don't I have that amount in the bank? So when we display the report here, you'll see it come up. So it shows our profit and loss for the period at the top, and then it shows essentially our balance sheet movements. So what's changed in our bank account, loans, debtors, stock levels, and that sort of thing. You can export any of these reports to Excel or to a PDF, or you can email them directly from the report viewer there using the toolbar at the top. So you could, for example, email this report directly to your accountant so he's got an up-to-date idea on where you're going to. There's a, a chart as well. So if you prefer something graphical, have a look at the chart. Again, you'll see the profit chart at the bottom and at the top, where we spent our money and where it's come from where it's come from. So in this case, most of our business has been funded by our creditors. So I hope you enjoy Calxer Express. Explore the reports. Um, enjoy using it. Thank you.